The foothills of the Berkshires in western Massachusetts have rarely been thought of as a basketball hotbed, but Westfield State is a burgeoning power in New England Division III women's basketball, with an eye on making an even bigger impact on the national stage. Westfield first enjoyed women's basketball prominence under former head coach Rick Berger in the 1990s, posting seven straight 20-win seasons and the first two NCAA tournament bids in school history. Under 13th year head coach Andrea Bertini, the Owls have rocketed to the top of the national leaderboard in points per game, steals per game, three point baskets, and rebounding. Westfield State has dominated the MASCAC in recent years, posting an unbeaten league record in 2014 and winning the tournament title and NCAA bid in each of the last three years, one of just six colleges to have done so in New England, and the only public school in New England to reach that accomplishment. Just, it's been an amazing experience all three times, and you just hope you get an opportunity to go back. You want your players to experience that, each group of players, because it's all new to the freshmen and the transfers coming in to, to be in that spot. Adopting the system style of play in 2015, the Owls play at a breakneck pace, utilizing every player on the roster, giving maximum effort in each game. I just thought, why be like everybody else? Like, for the 10 years I'd been coaching, 14 to that point I'd been coaching, I'd been trying to do it like everybody else, and I just started watching film in, in that spring of 2015, and I said, how can we be different? And everyone thought she was kind of crazy. At first, I think we all were, didn't like it. Like at first, we were like, this is too hard, it's not working out, and we weren't all on the same page. I think that you really have to adjust to being like very fast paced and understanding that you're gonna have to, you're not gonna get like a hot streak because you're gonna come out every minute and you're gonna have to get used to that. But I remember we got drilled here by Keene State by 30 points. And after that game, I, told, I pulled my team in. It was towards the end of the game. I said, I'm not going to a zone. I'm not stopping the bleeding. You guys can either play hard or we're going to lose by 30. And we ultimately lost by 30 that game. But um, shortly thereafter, a couple weeks after, we beat someone we probably shouldn't have beaten. And I got a text that night from Jill. And I'll never forget it. And she goes, I get it now. And at that point, the light kind of started coming on for each one of them. We're going sprinting full out for a minute on, and then sitting for a minute. Usually sometimes it is only 45 seconds, which is um, crazy to a lot of people. We're not training athletes to run the 800, we're training them to run the 100. The Owls quickly overcame any qualms about the system, and both the team and individual players have thrived ever since, as evidenced by Barrett, who was one of the top scorers in the league in 2018 and Valley, who was twice named the league's player of the year. Valley, in fact, scored 52 points in a game on her senior night, which stands as both a school and Woodward Center record. The team draws strong support from both the campus and the community. The 2017 MASCAC championship game against Framingham State had the highest attendance of any sporting event ever at the Woodward Center. All women's basketball games enjoy live video and internet coverage and live stats for every game so that families who can't make it can follow along at home. Sapowski, Durkee, to Mousset. Mousset, step back oh. three, contested three. That Whoa. one goes in! Chelsea Mousset, number three, welcome to Splashtown! Chelsea Mousset has been waiting to hit that shot all game, hasn't made a three-pointer, and then there, coming in clutch for the Owls. When you're the champs, you want to watch. And that's the big thing with this team. They're fun to watch and you have the ability to watch. As the calendar turns and the pursuit of the next title begins, there's still a sense of appreciation for how far things have come. When I look back at, at, the, at how many different players and how many, where the program is now, it's, it's pretty remarkable just walking in the Woodward Center and seeing the banners hanging up and it's pretty cool.